style is, I feel like, more internal. Mm -hmm. um, oh. It's a feel. Style is internal. Style is internal. And a feel. Yes. Okay, you have to go a little bit more deep. Okay. See, I'm trying to pull up the live right here, but I don't even care about this now. Uh, what the? <laughs> what is that? Um, Girl, Good morning, good morning, good morning. Who is awake this morning? That would be you, and that would be us, this whole team. Hope Messing Breakfast Club, and I am your hope ambassador, Yolanda Freedom Marks, and this is Kristen Johnson, my sister from another mister. I know my sister from Greater St. Matthew. She is the sister of Nikki, who was on here before, and today is her first day here, and I'm just so happy that you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so now, y'all don't know, it's been rough, it's been rough. The enemy has been trying to keep us from doing this live, and I'm like, it's not going to happen. Alondra said it's not going to happen. Erica said it's not going to happen. Yes. Kristen said it's not going to happen. In the name of Jesus, it was going to happen because we're going to do this live this morning. Jesus. Okay, Kristen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for getting on here this morning. So the enemy and so the atmosphere, no. Absolutely not. No, you get nothing here. Right. So please, introduce yourself. Tell us why you're here with your beautiful self. I love yes. it. Hi, my name is Kristen. Kristen Ayer, and I am the style editor. Oh, the style editor. The. Okay. Yes. Love it. So, um, I am a wardrobe stylist and also a fashion stylist. Um, I just help curate beautiful clothes, make people feel good, uh -huh. personal style, and um, also editorial. So, magazines and runways and all those fashion things. I love it. Okay. And so, if y'all noticed something different about me this morning, I had a <laughs> like a makeup this morning by Erica. I have on this beautiful outfit curated by the style editor. She was editing her butt off with this outfit right here. So tell us, tell us about this journey with this outfit. And uh, she didn't want to use the other outfit first. She wanted to save the best for last. Yeah, so I, I hope that the experience was fun. Just, you know, I love just walking around different stores and just getting a feel of the vibe of what the client likes. So we talked about you liking bright colors. I said, you want to dress? She was like, no, no, no. I like pants. <laughs> I'm like, all right, well, pants it is. You know, just um, getting to know the client more and just walking around and just feeling things that feel good to them. Um, I don't like really going with trends. I mean, trends are cool, but personal style and just style t all together is something totally different. Now, what's the difference between style and fashion? We were talking a little bit about this mm -hmm. yesterday. Yes. So, fashion, um, a lot of people, and, and myself, I am in the fashion world, um, they are brands. They are uh, designers of Christian Louboutin, Louis, Louis Vuitton, things like that. Um, but style is, I feel like, more internal. Mm -hmm. um, oh. It's a feel. Style is internal. Style is internal. And a feel. Yes. Oh, okay, man. you have to go a little bit more deeper. Oh. See, I was trying to pull up the live right here, but I don't even care about this now. Uh, what? <laughs> What's that? Um, style is a feeling. Style is what you, like, if you're the canvas, this is what you're drawing. This is your your strokes of the brush. This is your thoughts. This is uh, what you think about in your head. If it's fun, if it's uh, on the, I guess, the logical side, if mm -hmm. it's on the, the entertaining side. It's just things that I feel like style also is also a experience, which you experience develops your style. For example, for a long time, I remember my sister telling me, she was like, girl, you never wanted to wear dresses. You never wanted to wear skirts. You always wanted to wear pants. She was like, now I can't get you up. Like you're always in something. You're always in a dress. You're always in a skirt. And right. that was my style journey because mm -hmm. I felt comfortable. Mm -hmm. I felt confident. That's what style is. A style journey. Mm -hmm. So style, you said style is inward. Mm -hmm. uh, you said style was uh, how you feel. Mm -hmm. And also now it's a journey. It's a journey. I, and I can fully believe and accept that because uh, as, as as an adult with children, I, I was an adult with children. Yeah. Uh, 
and and adults were giving me clothes mm-hmm. as hand me downs, right? Mm-hmm. So you have children mm-hmm. that get hand me downs, but I was an adult that was receiving hand me downs. They were beautiful hand me downs, but they weren't my style. They weren't yourself, yeah. right? Um, now I, I have my style. Like mm-hmm. I know who I am, but it came through a journey of loving myself. Yes, right, and then finding those articles of clothing that I like, pops of color, and coming out of the gray and black. So. All right, so on my way to work, right, mm-hmm. I noticed that people wear a lot, like you look know, on the street, people wear a lot of gray and gray, just mm-hmm. black, black and gray, yeah, and, and navy and blue. Why do you think people are afraid of color? I feel like confidence. I feel like acceptance. Um, and then also, I think a lot of people go to those colors because it's easy. Mm-hmm. And not saying that, you know, um, wearing color is super hard. It's not. But I think it's just the, the confidence in what they feel comfortable in. And then the whole uh, nine to five grind. You always say, like, remember, if you're going to an interview, don't wear bright colors, mm-hmm. wear blacks, wear grays, wear neutral colors. Mm-hmm. But I feel like everyone, especially in this height of America and just all over the world, it's just... You want to do and wear things that make you feel good, yeah, yeah. you know, make you make you confident, make you walk into that interview or make you walk into that room with confidence with your head, your head held high. But, um, yeah, I think people go towards those colors because it is comfortable for them. And not saying anything about black, grays, navy blues. I, I love that. Too. Right, right. But um, I think most of those people who haven't found their style yet mm. and it's going to the fashion mindset of it because it's a statement it's a uniform piece and i can wear it i can change it i can switch it up with not a lot of thought process so again that how that's how you tell the difference between style and fashion okay, okay. yeah so i love how you said that whole style thing i i'm, I'm still stuck on it that it's a it's a feeling. It's mm-hmm. like how you feel. Like and fashion is something. I guess it's outward. It's something, outward. It's something that people are standard that's done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Awesome. 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 I'm laughing because I like we got some construction work stuff going on in the background. Right. 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 It is done. Um, who we got one here that we need to say good morning to? Okay. So good morning, Anne. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Kita. Good morning, yes. And good morning. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Sheena. Yes, good morning, everybody. So I, I love that idea that people need confidence, right? Mm-hmm. So, okay, so you went through your journey, right? Yes. Not just only your per. do you feel like your personal journey led you to be the style editor? Absolutely. I'm so glad you asked. No, um, when I was younger, I I always looked at my mom and my sister and my dad and all because they would put that those clothes on. Okay. okay? okay. And I love the final look, but I love the the process of getting dressed. Mm-hmm. How they would put things out and no, this isn't it, this isn't it. What how am I gonna have my hair? How am I gonna do my makeup? Um, and I just learned from them. So growing up, I was I was I was a bigger girl, mm-hmm. so a lot of the clothes that they had when I was growing up in the nineties, <laughs> it was like uh, I'm older than what I actually am. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the clothes that I had, it didn't really define me, but I didn't know that what that's what I was feeling at that time. I just was at, at times I was really sad because I would look at my other classmates or other girls and I'd be like, well, why can't I look like that? Or right. why can't I? wear what they have what's what's different i knew what was different with my body versus theirs mm-hmm. but it's just like why can't i feel confident so um style has definitely led me from grade school high school college um it's changed so much but it also had a lot to do with self-love like you said mm-hmm. self-love was top tier in my journey of style wow yeah, because if I didn't feel confident, if I didn't feel beautiful from the inside, then whatever I wore, I it didn't matter. So, um, 
Yeah, so college. basically you're saying that your inner self, the love of your inner self is shining out when you put on a particular outfit. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what is your outfit saying about you today? Oh, my outfit is saying that bold. I am beautiful. I am here. I am happy. I am bright. I am shining. I love it. Yeah. She said, I am bold, beautiful, bright. I love it. <laughs> and those earrings yes. are everything. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I want to get into the outfit that you created for me mm -hmm. today. And I also want to get into the journey, but I want to highlight the person that helped you with the accessories part of it. But before yes. we do that, let's get into this. So okay. show them what you did today. So what I did was, um, I'm going to start with the pants. Okay. So the pants are, are, okay. The pants are beautiful. As you guys can see, um, they are very thin. They're very yes. light, which is important right now because we are going through a heat wave. It's hot, baby. <laughs> <laughs> But they are uh, flowy. They aren't uh, clingy. No. <laughs> They're moving. <laughs> um, and the top, I actually got the color. It's say coral. A okay. coral. Yeah. I got it from the print in the pants. Um, funny story, though. Mm -hmm. So we went to one store, mm -hmm. a, a very high in price luxury store, and we found a shirt that we absolutely love. Yes. But we did not love the price. No. And that's the and thing. it didn't love my arms. Either. It didn't love your arms mm -hmm. at all. But we love the style of it. We love the colors of it. And um, that's the thing with styling. You have to make sure that you stay in your client's budget. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if it's a if it's fifty dollars. If you start to realize your style mm -hmm. and you're with a style, a knowledgeable stylist that understands your budget and knows where to go, then. You can shop anywhere and yes so we will tell you where we shop at so yes ahead. okay so the pants are from Ross yes Ross the samples are from Ross yes Ross <laughs> and the top is from Target <laughs> and it's Target and it's actually kind of I would say a dupe so a dupe is basically um the what is it the uh the repetition the the inspiration the inspiration mm -hmm. thank you the inspiration of um a piece of clothing or a shoe or a bag. So I would say this is a dupe of the Vince Camuto. Yes. So that, the sleeves mm -hmm. or like that, that shirt. Now, yes. he knows the designer. I do not. Uh, again, I go to Ross. And the only thing that attracts me at Ross, I go, ooh, and it'd be Calvin Klein. So, <laughs> that's it. It's the only fresh person I know. But yes, and then accessories. I felt like gold was perfect with this. It just makes the outfit pop. Um, I would wear this... Brunch, church, concert, um, beach day, movie day, any day. Okay. <laughs> you said any day. Okay. I said any day. Day time. So, <laughs> yeah, it's really, and if you want to elevate it and put it as a night look, I would say, I would say a hill of some sort. Or, oh, I love box hills. Mm -hmm. Kitten hills, too. They okay. are kitten hills. Awesome. It's a game changer. <laughs> so um i want to highlight so these earrings where are they from yes the earrings thank you <laughs> are from global mindset a dear 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 friend of mine her name is tony hey girl yes good morning girl <laughs> um yes also my earrings too uh she is an awesome awesome woman um we met a few years ago and i fell in love with her outfits you'll see more of her designs in the second outfit that you want to wear but awesome. yes if you want more information you can follow her on instagram global mindset and i'll also place it in the comments yes i'll awesome. switch and as we switch we will be making some changes jesus Alondra and Erica are going to come and they're going to uh, be our next, uh, uh, our, what did I call you before? Intermission. Intermission. Or our, our intermission ambassadors. Um, and so, but they're going to talk about their businesses. They're going to talk about their dreams, their goals while we're doing our outfit change. And then we will be back and uh, hopefully we don't mess anything up because there's a lot of cords. Uh, in the neighborhood.
it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, but there's a lot of chords in the neighborhood as well. So we're going to welcome Alondra. We're going to welcome Erica. You come to us as a concept leader, as a videographer, as the creative of all the cool scenes that folks see in a production such as this. We are so excited to have her. This is super amazing. I've learned so much. This is her first day here at the Hope Message Breakfast Club. So if you can chime in those comments, say welcome Alondra, A-L-O-N-D-R-A. <laughs> And now, without further ado, Alondra, tell us all about what you do. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Alondra, like she mentioned. Thank you so much for having me. Um, it is a privilege. It is an honor to be here. Um, I went to Africa about three and a half weeks ago, and um, I did not pick up a camera besides two times at my church to serve and seek pictures. Um, so the fact that I was giving an opportunity where like, I'm able to be creative in my own little world wow. um, was big. Um, wow. I started content creating probably like 10 years ago. Like I mentioned earlier, like it didn't work out. Um, it was more about like my personal self, my vlogging, me vlogging my own life. Mm -hmm. um, and then I tried it again three years ago with my beauty business. Um, which I've been doing for five years, and at that time I was pregnant. Okay. So it didn't really work out. It wasn't a God plan. And even though, like, I didn't, like, I didn't grow up in church, and I wasn't raised around church people, um, or religious people, I still knew that you know God was there. Mm -hmm. Um, when I look back at like videos and pictures, I'm still praising God. Yeah. Um, but not to the extent where I'm at now because I've seen His glory, because yes. I've seen what He's done for me. Amen. Um, and then this time around, I've been doing the content creating more serious for the past, like, I want to say like 10 months. Um, and it's completely changed my life because now I'm looking at life from different perspectives. Mm -hmm. um, and what I mean by that, it's like there's a camera here, 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 or if not, I'm positioning myself to see from different lens. Wow. So it's like taking off that veil and see what God wants you to see. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I love you. Um, this is awesome. This is awesome. We are so excited. I cannot stop saying how exciting this is to have Alondra on board, just to be able to give you so many tidbits and different phases of how the, the morning breakfast club show comes to fruition to our, our guests. Um, I'll share a little bit about me. <laughs> Again, this is my first day meeting Alondra, and I'm keeping her. I, I she picked me up, and she was already... <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Yeah, so I was quite happy. I was in my happy space. <laughs> At six in the morning, which is crazy for a lot of people. Look, keep it great. Um, I um, as you all know, you guys have seen me before. I'd love to time or two co-host with Yolanda during this awesome business masterclass. We have seen businesses from um, uh, coffee shops. We've seen businesses from fashion. We've seen photographers and editors and. I mean, we've seen talk show hosts. We've seen so many different types of businesses. So today that we have a sense to see fashion. I love being a girl. So therefore, this whole fashion we deal. Yeah. <laughs> we were in our roles. Yeah. We, we were, were in our black. fashion role today as production. So it is just uh, amazing just to see how many different facets of ministry and business and how it all comes together. Okay. So I am a voiceover artist. I don't know if you all know that. Outside of these Saturday moments, um, I do voiceover uh, work and I also do technical writing. And my personal ministry business comes with an awesome biblical scripture t-shirt line. So we'll see, we'll be seeing more about that, you know, as we go. Is that one of them? Oh, this is not one of them today. Okay. This is a design created by my beloved uh, husband, uh, Time. Uh, when he was with us, he was able to put together such wonderful creations. So I wear this in memory of him today. But um, this is just an amazing, <laughs> amazing time. So what's happening right now, folks, Yolanda and uh, Kristen are getting ready to come back just in a few moments with another awesome creation by the style editor. If you have comments, I'd love to see them. I want to see who's saying what this morning. I think we should do that, Alana. Yes, who's say saying what this morning? I believe I saw Ann Glover on there this morning. Our beautiful Ann, good morning, good morning. We see um, Yolanda's sister, Rashina. Good morning, Rashina. Good morning, good morning. And, I, and Rashina also is a wonderful fashionista, by the way. Oh, she should have been. Oh, my goodness. She, is, she has been one of my fashion 
uh, go-tos and, and folks that I've admired for some time. And she also said that, yes, she loves the process of the styling journey. She also says that your confidence will definitely show when you love what you are wearing. That is good, good stuff. And lastly, she says, definitely, if you don't feel beautiful inside, it won't communicate on the outside, no matter what you put on. That is so true. Talk you know how you carry yourself. Exactly. While you're here, can you share maybe a fashion blunder that is taking place over your time? You share first, and I'll share. Okay. Um, what would be an example? So, if there was there an outfit that you just thought would work, and maybe it just didn't. Or maybe it was a beautiful outfit, but you just really weren't feeling it no matter what. Yeah. I feel like sometimes when we're younger, that happens. Yeah. When, when folks are dressing us. And it's kind of like, oh, straight on you. Like, it's okay. But it's just because it, it's not connecting with our, right. our style identity. I'll say that. Our style identity just doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Have you had any of those moments? Yeah. So before, I would wear, like, super tight clothes. Okay. And it, like, suit me at that time <laughs> during that season. Yeah. B.C. Before yes. Christ. Yes, I love it. <laughs> um, so I I've like, been there. <laughs> okay, we're all changing, but yes. I feel like as time has gone, like I have made myself comfortable enough mm. to wear baggy clothes that still compliments me. Mm. Um, I just felt like I didn't need to show as much. I just wanted to be more comfortable, but still be stylish because you still want to look good. You want to present yourself in a well manner. Um, right. but like I just feel like baggy clothes for me, it's like a go-to. It's like I I must have it, mm. especially like cargo pants with like a, a one piece and then we just add accessories and then go from there mm. I feel like baggy clothes definitely for me that's your nice. comfort zone yeah you know I think within um, my style journey uh, we're going to get out of the way because they they are looking amazing over there so but amazing. just to finish the this portion of the conversation I have come to love myself enough to wear brighter colors. Okay. And I think on the other end of the pendulum, fuller figures have over time been kind of like slated to yeah. be really, really um, abbreviated because the figure was fuller. Right. And now I feel really free enough just to wear colors. Just wear what I want. I go by how I feel. Right, if right. I feel good, I project well. See, God is working in you already. He's giving yeah. you that confidence that yes. you've been eager to, to get. Yes. Oh, Fashion God. is a God thing. It is. It can be a God thing. It is a God thing. So this is awesome. But we're going to take a break now because the style editor and the Yolanda Frieda Marks is on the way back. Our segment was amazing. I love, love, love it. Um, so we are, we are at our, I guess, like second half um, at this point because we started late. So thank y'all for... Um, minutes. Thank y'all for... Um, your patience with us this morning as we were not able to begin on time because of technical difficulties and other stuff. And it was a lot this morning. It was a lot. Oh, but we're so grateful. Alondra, Erica, y'all segment was so good. Oh my God. <laughs> that was so awesome. All right. So I want to, I feel like we need to stand up first with this one. I'm going to sit down, but I feel like we need to stand up. And I want to yes. be careful in these in, in this crossfire. Right let's, let's talk about it. it. <laughs> okay, so this is called a cash can. Um, it is very simple, yet elegant. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. Um, a lot of Moroccan culture comes from Captain. Um, also African culture as well. Middle mm -hmm. East okay. as well. Um, so we saw this. We loved it. And it was just like a blank canvas. Like, what yes. are we going to do? Right. How are we going to create this look? Create this story? Um, and here is Tony again from Global Mindset. Yes. This is her pieces. This is actually a bib um, and also a waist belt. So we added it together. To give it some, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> which did perfectly. Like you look amazing, and then um, the sandals are hers, are Yolanda's, which are so like it just goes effortlessly with it. Um, I'm not afraid to play with color and patterns and and style. Um, so I'm just grateful that you weren't scared either. No, <laughs> and these are like my favorite colors. You see orange in here. I got my orange nails. But this, yes. this is me. This is it. Yeah, this is beautiful. And even with, okay, so even with the earrings, they are not matchy-matchy, but still, 
you you get the vibe. It's the orange. It's the bright colors. It's the the earth tones. It's it's everything. It's everything. Yes, it is everything. All right. So now this is the first look. I, I really would love to keep this on, but this is boring. I really feel like a, a um. Uh, you know, uh, one of them uh, star people's because he was like, "This is all from home." I was like, "Oh, so this is what they do it?" <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to get these things back. But they're so beautiful. I would love to know how much this costs because her pieces are just amazing. And I, if we could, could you clear up that? Because I want to show more of her stuff, or maybe we could just bring it over here. Yes. Um, and we'll change up, change up the look. So did you want to change up the look? Yep. So we could start with. Yeah, we'll start with this one. Thank you. Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. So we'll start with this one, and I'll let you take this off. And so that was easy to take off. Easy. Okay, so this is called a bit um which can be used and worn in so many ways so when i talk about like multi-purpose clothes and accessories this is what i mean and i'll show you why so it can be and it also doubles as a purse some things in there yes <laughs> so it can go as a fanny pack and also uh doubles as a waist belt to help define the waistline when you have uh pieces that are a bit bigger it hides your frame it hides what the lord gave you <laughs> so, <laughs> this helps accentuate it but what we liked was putting it as a necklace i got every piece of food <laughs> <laughs> yeah you see that that's beautiful and it just totally changed the look of the dress Oh my god, look at all the fish. Like, yes! <laughs> so, yeah, the, one of the many pieces that Tony has that is just is breathtaking. Um, and then we also oh have another waist belt. Now, these are the type of waist belts which I love because it extends you in. <laughs> yes, I'm cinched. Yes. <laughs> but you see, like, another look with the same, and that's the thing about styling also. Like, it doesn't matter how many pieces you have. You can use one piece and just continuously recreate it over and over and over again. Yes. So these earrings are mm -hmm. one of a kind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they are one of a kind. Looking like little pillows in your ear. Just so I'm like, what? Come on, rest in my ears. Come on, rest. And Erica, I knew you were loving these. Gorgeous. I knew it. See, listen. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And you can wear those with a pair of jeans. You can wear that to work. You can wear swimsuit if you want to do a little. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, listen. And there are so much more pieces that we can do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So, this is really a favorite of mine. Um, Tony actually had this in New York Fashion. No, I'm sorry. But Philly Fashion Week. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous purse. Uh, I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, like, what? Like, this is everything. And it also helps with the minimalists who doesn't feel like they need to place so much color and things on. If you just have one accessory that pops, yeah, you're good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> It says something that the fabric. The fabric is. It actually can go a few few ways. So it can also be a waist belt.
the page. But then if you want to uh, take it a step further, it can also be a head rank. And that's just a quick rip, just a <laughs> Yeah, so pick up the bag. <laughs> I lick the bag. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a look. That's yes. a whole other look. It's a, it's a total look. look. Don't be afraid of accessories. Accessories are amazing. It it really comes in and when you feel like you had those pieces that are just Old and tired. Mm. Give it new life. life. Give it new life. What accessories? Give it new life. What accessories? Yes. Oh my God. You have taken us all on a journey of fashion this morning with this one canvas. First of all, the, fir the first belt that we saw, we liked it. We both liked it. And we was like, oh, that's it. That's it. Then we put it on and looked like Jesus. Um, mm. I was like, ooh, I'm, that's disciples looking right there. That's Walking back in very much Nazareth. Uh, nope, that's not gonna work. But that's the thing with styling. Like, you okay. have to try. It's, it's a trial and error. You have yeah. to try. You have to fail, and you have to try again until right. you get it right. And you just keep trying. And so, you know, I I love color now, but I was one of those people that was just black and gray. Yeah. And again, same thing as you. I had to learn how to love myself mm -hmm. at a bigger weight when I was when I was bigger than what I am now. And I just started loving myself, you know what I mean? You know, and I wasn't, I was, I was, I had become what God said I was, fearfully mm -hmm. and wonderfully made. Marvelous was his words, yes. and then my soul knew it. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So even if I had to walk around with this like this, with nothing, I, I still could. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I love me now, and I love who God made me to be. Yes. And so fashion, if we can look at it in a, in a way of just less, we are already beautiful, right? We are already fearfully and wonderfully made. We are already who God called us to be. But you can adorn yourself just a little bit more, not because you need it, but because you want to. Yes. And because you want to start and begin to express, express the inner personality that you have on the outside. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's kind of like when we get baptized, right? And we, that is our outward expression of an inward decision. And so our outfits are our outward expression of an inward confidence and love that we have for ourselves. And a lot of people, they are, their personalities are bubbly and this, that, and the other. Like Erica, my daughter, her personality is all bubbly. I said, is she wearing black? I said, bro, pull out the black outfit here. Yeah? Pull out. And now my baby's wearing all this color. Yeah. And I'm like, that's you. Like, that's my baby. So don't be afraid of color. No. And call on Kristen, right? The stylist <laughs> editor to come style you. If you have an event right there, mm -hmm. if you have anything, then Alondra can do your content for you. Eric can come do your makeup. <laughs> or if you need a t-shirt made for yourself. Yes. Uh, or if you have an event for Eric to come speak at, she is interested in being, we call it a mistress of the hour, like the mistress entry, of ceremony. Mistress of ceremony um, and things like that. So there are so many businesses in the kingdom. And you are allowed to own a business. You are free, 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 free. And who God has set free is free indeed. So you are free to own a business. You are free to make good gobs of money. This is what Pastor Jones said. He said, good gobs. And did like this was hands. And I'll never forget. And that was the foundation of this whole, of this, of this business masterclass series is that it, it's okay. And I feel like we've been shackled, you know, shackled in our beauty. Yes. Shackled in our uh, business sense. Shackled sometimes as women thinking we can't do it or we got to wait for a man to do something. No, I was about to say, I don't know, but no. Good job. Good job. Good job. It's okay. Praise you. Praise you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise you. No. <laughs> we love our men. We love them. Yes, I love it. But if that's not where you are in your phase of life, you don't wait. You do what God has called you to do. Amen. You do what God has called you to do. Your obedience is unto God, not unto man. And that means don't wait for a man to start your life. I don't know why I'm saying that. But don't wait for a man to start your life. If God is calling you out to do something, you do what God's calling you to do, and that's it. And if a man is to come along, cool. But if he don't, cool. 
Because at the end of the day, when you get before God, you're going to have to answer for your obedience. And so my encouragement to you, Kristen, as we're moving forward and you're moving forward in life, let this be the next launching pad poof, to get you where you're supposed to be going. And don't turn back. Don't turn back now. Your 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 message is out there. Your gift is out there. Your gift will make room for you. Yes. Do not turn back. Do not turn back for money. Do not turn back for a job. Do not turn back for somebody else. And wherever God sends you, you go. And you have permission from God to go. Not for man. Not for man. You ain't got to wait for nobody to do what God has called you to do. And if he's making ways for you to move, and you know what I'm saying when I say that, mm-hmm. then move. And and get your business card. Get a blank. You ain't got paper on Get a blank. Put the styles edit on there and start editing people's styles. Because a lot of people out there, they need some edits. <laughs> my life where I didn't even a lot of any and my kids were gonna put me on that show what not to wear like literally and they were they rightfully so because mm-hmm. I look like a hot mess um, <laughs> I didn't iron nothing nothing matched it was big it was bulky it was somebody else's clothes with mm-hmm. hand me down mm-hmm. but that's that was a part of the journey yes as we talked about and now when I walk around if I choose to look at bump that's cool <laughs> but that's my choice mm-hmm. and and I'm cool because the next day you might not even know me when you look at Jesus. So, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. Yeah, you know. Because I'm going to do all my shape my mama gave you. So, I know. Anyway. Um, so. <laughs> I can eat the body, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. I was listening to a lot of I was talking. Five in the day? No. I've been wearing the tight clothes. I'm like, shake what your mama gave you. Do it. I believe in body body. Um, I believe in looking good. But anyway, oh, God is good. He loves me. He loves me. Okay. Uh, he loves me. I'm, I'm all, but he loves me anyway. So, uh, as Erica, my boss, has said, <laughs> uh, I love her. Yeah. Um, she says time for announcements. So I'm going to let you plug your business. Yes. And then we're going to make some announcements. And then we hold on. 5,000 G. Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, everyone can follow me on at the T-H-E-E underscore style underscore editor. Um, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. All the same the same uh, tech. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. Um, and so, question. Are you taking appointments now? Absolutely. Awesome. Yes. Um, what's the big event that's coming up? Um, back to school will be happening really soon. Um, a lot of college students usually call me in regards to uh, capsule wardrobes. Mm-hmm. That's another another day. What is the capsule wardrobe? Okay, so cap... All right, real quick. Capsule wardrobe is taking about... Three or four pieces of clothing and recreate them, like like we talk about. I mean, being in college, you don't have that much money. Uh-huh. But, I mean, actually, y'all do have a lot of money because y'all don't have any bills. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes money can get funny. Um, and you want to look your best. You want to look good. So I create a wardrobe, a capsule wardrobe with different entities, different colored shirts, tops, skirts. And we just interchange them back and forth, back and forth. You can make... I promise you, I can make about 31 outfits with about five pieces. What in the world? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Wow. Baby. Oh, Oh, my gosh. Shut up. (laughs) But I think somebody in church said they do that. Um, It's either Emily. I think it's Emily that does it. She said, yeah, I have a capsule um, wardrobe. I was like, (laughs) and it's great for vacation, too. Oh yeah. So Monica did do that when she went to to Europe. Yeah. Yeah. And she had yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She did, I remember. All right. Cool. 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 So um, shout out to City Reach. I do need to make some announcements. Shout out to City Reach. Um, people are going through a lot right now, and so we are really going to pray for them. Um, Sister Janet, uh, she just lost everything in a fire. 
and uh, her and her husband won. And uh, Benny just got surgery on his knee. I want to pray for him. Um, Steve is going through stuff with his mom. We're going from the hospice. So I want to pray for him. It's just a lot. It's a lot. Um, Ricky and uh, just lost his mom. So it's a lot. There's some heavy, heavy hearts um, in in our in our church. So I definitely want to pray for them this morning. Uh, I, we also need to, you know, make announcements for the t-shirt sales. Uh, we need to sell them. It's just, y'all need to buy them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I just, I just want to pray for that. And freedom for um, all these businesses in the room and all the businesses that's been on the live thus far. Uh, oh, shout out to Chris, the Church of Christian Compassion uh, and their entrepreneurship program that I completed about two weeks ago, and they honored us, all the people that attended that um, class last last Sunday. So shout out um, for that. And again, I'm just grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time, literally time, gas, and money, <laughs> to, to go on this fashion journey with me. I had so much fun. I enjoyed our time together. This is our first time together. I'm like, this is, like, and you know me, Erica. I was trying to make it a girl's night. I was like, come on, you want to go out? You want to go get something to eat? <laughs> And then she was like, well, she couldn't figure out what she wanted. So I was like, well, we do have to make up really in time. So I guess so. But I, I was, you know, I was trying to make it a girl's name. We'll stick in there. We're going to All right. So, Father God, I thank you. God, I thank you, Lord, that you are God and you are above all. Thank you, God, for this live that you uh, knit together, God. Thank you for Alondra. Thank you for Erica. Thank you for... Uh, Kristen, Lord, thank you for the Hope Message Breakfast Club family, Lord. God, we pray we put before you uh, Sister Jeanette and her husband Juan as they've lost everything in the fire. I pray, God, you will provide them with double in Jesus' name. God, I pray that even people on this live right now would ask how they can help them, Lord. And yes. Father, I ask you, Lord, to, to provide every need according to your riches and glory and let their cup run over. And during this time, I pray God for them to find a place, a stable place to stay, uh, more clothes and food and money and everything they need, God, to get past this moment, God. Help them to see you tangibly, God, tangibly. Holy Spirit, come. We ask you, God, for comfort for them. We pray, God, for total healing for Benny, for his knee, Lord God, and give uh, Brenda the, the patience and love and care necessary to care for him during this time. God, we pray, God, for Ricky, Lord God, as he has lost his mom, and we pray, God, that you'll comfort him. God, you said, they that mourn shall be comforted in the name of Jesus. Bless Steve and Martha and their family, Lord God, as, as Steve's mom is in hospice, God, we pray, God, grace for your son, grace for his family, grace for her children, Father, in the name of Jesus, comfort for them, God, Please. in the name of Jesus, Jesus God. Name. God, we just say thank you, Lord. All those who are heavy-hearted right now, yes. all those who are confused and don't know which way to go, God, we ask you, God, for direction for them in yes. the name of Jesus. Yes, God, yes, we yes. pray, God, that you would give the ideas and people will start writing them down. Write the vision and make it plain yes. in the name of Jesus so that when men receive it, they can run with it. And so, Father, we thank you. God, we give you glory. We give you honor, God, because you are awesome. We just... Praise you, God, in the midst of every storm. Yes, God. In the midst of every storm, just trusting you, resting in you, resting in who you are, resting in your promises, resting in your amen over our lives. Resting in you, Lord. We pray, God, blessings over Christian's business. I pray, God, that it would just blow up from here so much so that she would have to quit her full-time job and yes. just full-time in yes, Jesus God. Name. Yes, God. And this is the release that we pray for all the business owners that have been on here that are not full time, that you would shift them into full time ministry and marketplace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, that you lead us and guide us and that money is not evil. God, and you, God, can give us direction on our money. Help us to put you first in money in business, and people, in relationships, in our families. Help us not to abandon our families while we take it on business. Yes. Teach us balance in that. Yes. We pray God you would give us a perfect balance of family, ministry, business, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, that you are able to do that. 
And we believe you, God, in this moment for exceeding abundantly above all that which we could ever ask or think according to the power that works within us. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray with thanksgiving. And we thank you, O Lord. Amen. 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 And so I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Hope Message Breakfast Club family, for your support. Thank you for your faithfulness for watching every week. Um, I'm so grateful, those who watch live and those who watch later. I love you so much, and I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye. From all of us to all of you, have a wonderful weekend. Oh,